Hello. My family and I went to Croatia for a week on a boat. Uh, we're super lucky and privileged, but I obviously took a lot of photos um, because I always take a lot of photos. But at the moment, living in Amsterdam, I have not got enough money to afford like film and developing. So unfortunately, I've been taking a lot of photos on my GX8. Uh, I wanted to make this video just to talk about my thoughts about the photos that I got in Croatia. Uh, and a little bit about the things that I hate about using the uh, Panasonic, the digital camera. Um, and it's kind of funny, obviously I took a lot of photos on my phone as well during the trip, and I think they're the most successful. And even so, I think the best photo is this, a photo of my family playing cards, which is a classic wood family scenario. Um, and this particularly potent because of the little out of focus hand in the foreground. And as something I've realized I've done a lot, I do a lot with big cameras, is I always like to have some kind of out of focus element in the foreground. To me, that feels right. <laughs> I was in Croatia, walking around the street with my hands on backwards. Walking around the street with my hands on a camera that I didn't want to be touching. With my hands, that's why they were on backwards. That's why I say they were on backwards. Doesn't make sense, but I don't care. Backwards, I'm thinking backwards. I'm thinking backwards and forwards, baby. On a boat, going up and down, up and down the street with a man on man once. Uh, yeah, uh. I'm trying to make so much money off you. I'm trying to make so much money off your likeness. Trying to make a, a bootleg video game with your face as the main character. The main character in my video game. Haven't you seen a video game called Stealing Your Likeness for a character in a video game? It's the name of the game. It's the name of the game that I'm playing. With you, with you, with you. Not something I'm proud of, but it's something that I gotta do. As I was making and when I was first looking at these photos, I didn't really like them. I felt like they look so clean, like they're super clean and the colors are just kind of boring. Um, which I think is just part of the digital experience, that feeling and that, that um, those thoughts are just gonna be with me when I shoot digital. Um, now it's been about a month or two since I took the photos and going back through, I am, I'm in love with quite a few of them. I, I think they are, uh, I don't know, something, something about the freedom of taking as many shots as I wanted uh, has allowed me to get some photos that are more like, like, difficult photos like they're like they were harder to time and harder to get harder to get right um plus like being able to walk around a city or like a little town like i did and just take photos of things in the dark is is fun like i like taking night photos so um d night photos on digital it's always good but uh now i just sort of want to show like the iphone photos um there's when I think about shooting on each camera that I shoot on, like the RB, the GX8, and my iPhone. My iPhone, I think, uh, it tells the more the most authentic like version of my personality, um, and I think that's just because of how quickly I can pull out the camera and take the photo, and how free I am to take whatever photo I want. This one where I'm raising my hand, I think, is kind of funny. I was thinking about how to make a photo that like stands out really well and someone raising their hand is something that stands out and I thought I could um, also do like the orange and blue thing plus make a photo that was like yelling at you 
Um, and it's kind of funny because of the way that I did my fingers. I think it's funny. Uh, further, the photo of Isaac here, um, something going on with it that's not quite right. Uh, but stuff like this, you can't do um, unless it's a phone. And this thing is hilarious. So you can probably tell the ones that I did on my phone, there are less of them obviously, but they sort of make more sense. I don't know. They, they, they are a little bit more broad in their appeal, I think. Um, less like photography and more just interesting photos. filming this because the sun is coming in behind me. I think it looks really beautiful uh, in my backdrop. So uh, something quick that I could definitely figure out what to say would be, you know, sometimes when you take too many photos, which happened in Croatia, I was taking way too many photos on the boat. I got this like sick feeling. I lit like I felt mentally ill it was really strange it, it doesn't happen when you shoot film because you can't shoot as, like enough photos but i was spending hours taking photos and and there was always a camera ready to go and it was instant and everything was fast and it kind of just it took away a lot of the calming meditative uh, reason that i take photos um, which i think contributes a lot to the uh, reason i didn't like the photos as much when i first sold them okay Cool background, son. That's it. That's the end of the video. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.